Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have a sequence of function fn of x is equal to x raised to n. So each function is defined on closed interval 0, 1. So we have to discuss its convergence. That means we have to check whether that sequence of function converges to any function or not. If it converges, then that convergence is pointwise convergence of uniform convergence. Let us find first the pointwise limit of this sequence of function. What we have, we have a closed interval 0, 1. So normally what we discuss, first we discuss for boundary points and after that we consider a point which lies in the interval. So let us discuss first for x is equal to 0. Okay, I am going to find its limit. So limit n tends to infinity fn of x. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity. We have to put the value of fn of x. What we have fn of x is equal to x raised to n. But we are putting x is equal to 0 here. So if I put x is equal to 0, 0 raised to anything, you will have 0. So if you apply the limit, you will have 0 since it is constant. So for x is equal to 0, we have discussed. Now we will discuss for x is equal to 1. Let us find for x is equal to 1. So limit n tends to infinity. I am applying the limit to fn of x. So this is equal to limit n tends to infinity fn of x is equal to x raised to n okay we know that but what is value of x here 1 so 1 raised to n which is 1 itself getting so if you apply the limit it is constant so that's why always you will have value 1 so for x is equal to 0 we have a limit 0 but for x is equal to 1 we have a limit 1 so now consider the points which lies between 0 and 1 so let us discuss the next case that is for 0 less than x less than 1 let us see what will happen limit n tends to infinity fn of x is equal to limit n tends to infinity what is fn of x fn of x is x raised to n let me write that thing here so here x lies in 0 and 1 so that means you have a number in point 0 0.2 0 0.4 like this getting and you are taking its power n and n goes to infinity so if you have a number lies in 0 and 1, if you take its higher power, then value will move towards 0, getting it will re reduce the value. So that's why its value will be 0 since as n tends to infinity, so value will go to 0. I would like to give one example. Suppose you have point 2. If you take its first power, then you will have the same point 0.2 square, it will be 0 0.04. 0.2 cube it will be 0 0.008 that means we are taking a higher power it is reducing the value getting so that's why we are it will uh, tend to 0 so for different different uh, points we have got a different different value so let us define a function now with the help of these points we will find the function okay so we define okay or then we will write then uh, we consider a function which is defined on closed interval 0, 1 to r as f of x. What we have got, if it is 0 or if it is lies in 0 and 1, its value is 0. So, I am defining 0 for 0 less than or equal to x less than 1. But if x is equal to 1, its value is 1. So, that's why its value is 1 if x is equal to 1. Getting So, we have defined the function in this way. So, therefore, Therefore, what we have fn converges to f on closed interval 0, 1. So, in this way, we found out okay, the limit, pointwise limit of sequence of function fn. So, now we have to check that convergence is uniform convergence or not. We are going to discuss, just make a screenshot of it and then we will go further. Now we are checking that convergence is uniform convergence or not. Purposely, I have kept that function that here. Okay, so we, you can easily understand. So see, I am going to use one property, okay, to which we have seen in previous video. That means each fn is continuous, that convergence is uniform, that function f should be continuous. So that property we are going to use. See, as you can see here, fn is equal to x raised to n. So it's a polynomial function. So that's why obviously each fn is a continuous on closed interval 0, 1. But see here, f is not continuous. As you can see here, for 
interval 0 to 1 other than that point 1 it has a value 0 getting so you will have a constant function and only for x is equal to 1 you are getting a value 1 so that means obviously there is a discontinuity at x is equal to 1 so therefore this function f is not continuous it is discontinuous getting so that means each fn is continuous but f is not continuous so that's why that convergence should be not uniform convergence getting since our property says if each fn is continuous convergence is also uniform that f must be continuous but we are not getting f is continuous here so that's why convergence must be not uniform convergence so we got that convergence is point wise but not uniform okay make a screenshot of it then we'll stop thank you bye bye